Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Chanel unboxing. It's actually technically a double unboxing and then I have some Chanel beauty and I also have another new beauty device that I want to show you guys because you know that I love skincare, I love beauty. I'm very invested into that now, now that I'm getting older and I'm not far off 40. So before I dive into today's video, if you are new here and you're not subscribed, I think that you should subscribe. Hit that bell down below as well so you can be notified when I upload new videos. I tend to upload upload every weekend. I tend to, I try to. Doesn't always go to plan. I do have a busy life with two kids. So let's get into today's video. I'm very thrilled to be showing you guys a very new skincare beauty device that I have here. With Mother's Day coming up in May, this would be a fantastic gift idea and you've got plenty of time to jump on board and get it. And I also am going to have a coupon code as well for this. And then this is the device here. You get two of the Amiro gels hydrating moisturizing serum gels then you have the amiro refreshing anti-wrinkle firmness collagen eye mask set the amiro timeless firming lifting face and neck mask and then there's also this box which contained a storage bag and this is a rechargeable cordless device this is how the device looks so that's the on button here okay so the top mode here is going to be your eye special care mode now the bottom half circle is going to be your contour mode this is for your jaw and neckline and then when you press it again, you are now in full face anti-aging mode. So this is going to be for all over your face, particularly used in combination with the gel. And then for every single step, you have different levels that you can choose. I would suggest that you start on level one. So their cutting edge technology combines radio frequency, microcurrent and phototherapy, which is a very unique three in one solution in just one device. And then they have their exclusive patented flathead technology. And that is this right here. So the actual head shape is a patented technology. So Amaro is the only one that can design it like this. This flat head makes it comfortable to glide across the skin. You don't feel any tugging or anything like that. And then the last advantage is that it has enhanced absorption. So this device actually has enhanced absorption of any skincare products that you're actually going to use, particularly serums, gels, and masks. Okay, so let me run you through each of the modes and my demonstration with using them. So firstly, before you go in with this device, you want to make sure you have a clean face. So the first mode is the special eye care mode. That is that half moon on the top level. You can actually use this mode in conjunction with the Amaro serum gel if you like, but of course you're going to get the absolute best results with their eye mask. So you need to do two minutes on either side of of the eye area it does set off a vibration to start and then it sets off a longer vibration to tell you when that's when the two minutes is over and that's when you need to switch to the other eye and of course when you are applying this facial device to your eyes you just want to make sure you're going nice and slow so that way that the essence is really absorbing into the skin so at this point I actually lost my audio so I'm just going to do the rest of this portion as a voiceover and what you're actually going to notice with the before and after is that it has obviously removed my dark circles it has also reduced the puffiness and it's given me a lifted and firming effect around the eye area. And then for the other mask, which is for your jaw, this is going to be in the V contour mode, which is the bottom circle. This is going to give your jaw a sculpted and lifted effect. And what you will notice with my before and after is that I had a very obvious change in my jawline. I could see that my jaw had become much more sculpted, much more firmer and lifted. Now for the last mode, this is the full face anti-aging mode. Now I'm actually going to be doing this on one side of my face only, and I am going to be using the Amaro gel. This particular mode, how it works is that for every minute you will work on a section of your face, the device will vibrate to tell you to move to the next section. I also opted to use the Amiro gel on the under eye area as well for this example. And with this gel, it is recommended that you wipe it clean when you are finished. And then you can go in with your normal serum. The side that you see, which is on the left side, you can see that it's very puffy still. You see the dark circles as well. And then you can see on the right, the side that I actually did the facial device on, you can see that it's much more lifted, much more firmer looking, and the dark circles are almost gone. The Amira device can also be used with your existing serums that you may have. So I do also have a discount code as well. You can get $50 off with the code MEL. So that's just M-E-L. Enter that at checkout and it'll take you $50 off the price. And with every day of use, you're going to notice continued results. The link to shop will also be in the description bar down below. And then that coupon code as well will be down below in the description bar. So thank you very much, Amira, for the opportunity to do this collaboration and giving me your fabulous facial device. So some of these were still kind of from like the end of Christmas where they still had their packaging 
packaging I bought the Sublimage La Brume Revitalizing Intense Mist so the point of this mist is that it actually wakens up your skin it helps to reduce puffiness like instantly and I did find that this really worked for that so if you're needing like an instant refresher and you don't have time to like say go in and do like your facial device then I would recommend that this is a great kind of grab and go sort of item you can wake up and just go bang bang bangs spray it on your face and get out the door so this is what you get so you get the La Brume um, revitalizing mist and then it has a mist already in there but you also get three refills I think it's actually a pretty good deal considering you're getting those three refills it is a sublimage product which is the very top tier um, skincare item that you can actually get from Chanel the next one is a sublimage extrait and I love this product I fell in love with this when I got a sample of it this is the oil intensive concentrate now this is actually intended as a treatment product so you could use it once a week or once a fortnight or once a month depending on your kind of needs i'm kind of using it say like once a maybe once a fortnight maybe once every three weeks because it is very expensive it's like about i think it's like 750 dollars for just this little bottle and it's only 15 mil but you only need a drop to cover your entire face and when i use this i did go in with the um facial device as well and use this all over and my gosh do you wake up with radiant glowing skin when you use this i remember using this on the night where i only slept about four hours and it was during like the um christmas period and yeah i woke up and i I could not believe that my face looked like it was radiant and glowing and it just looked firm and everything and I'm sure it was obviously you know with using it in conjunction with this but I have no doubt that even if it's used alone you would get that radiant glowing skin even with like minimal sleep which is super impressive that I could wake up with that result having only had like four hours of sleep because typically if I've only had four hours of sleep, I usually wake up looking like I've been hit by a truck. That's typically how I kind of look with four hours of sleep. So yeah, this product, I really recommend it. And it, even though it's expensive, it's going to last you a long time if you're only using it like every few weeks or every month, just as like an ultimate treatment product to like refresh your skin and repair your skin because it does have reparative benefits. Like the most important thing is it actually has reparative benefits in the um, extrait products. Love, love, love the Sublimage extrait. Like the best line ever. I'll leave everything linked down below for all of these um, Chanel skincare products. And I have used so many other brands as well um, when it comes to skincare. I've used SK2, I've used Sicily, I've used Tatcha. Um, there's been like other brands I've used as well, like Drunk Elephant, um, Paula's Choice. Um, yeah, like there was just uh, Shiseido, Laneige. La Meur. One that impresses me the absolute most is actually the Chanel products, but like particular ones from the Chanel products. So I'm very fussy on which ones I really, really like, and which ones are kind of like a bit, mm, yeah, they're good, but they need to be used in conjunction with such and such. Like I have like my specific products that I use that I combine. That's probably why my skin has been the best that it's ever been, like probably in my entire life. It's been great the past year, just like using different products and figuring out what works for me, but also rotating them. Like you don't want to use always the same products every day you really should like rotate them up and mix them up because they all have different ingredients and different benefits and your skin can just have too much of the product and you're just not going to get that benefit anymore like you're just going to maintain what you've already got at that level if you kind of get what i'm sort of saying all right let me run you through some more quick ones so this is the la lift main hand cream i'm not going to unbox this but essentially it's just like that egg shape but this is the hand cream that actually has anti-aging benefits so chanel has the white la main hand cream which is super popular but i prefer this one because it actually has anti-aging benefits the next one is a rouge coco flash this is in the color 56 moment now i actually haven't owned this color before and it does look like it's a bit dark in the actual tube but when i looked at swatches on this it actually does sheer out very nicely the la Beige's healthy glow lip balm this is in the shade light and even though it looks pretty pinky uh, it actually does swatch pretty sheer so you get a nice beautiful kind of light pink lip. okay so this is a newly launched product this is the number one camellia revitalizing mask so my sales associate or beauty advisor did a demonstration of this one for me and you could really see the instant result her hand had become like blurred and smooth like any of the fine lines had like disappeared so I would personally just use this as like a once a week kind of treatment to help treat fine lines and wrinkles and that kind of thing you only have to leave it on for five minutes and then rinse thoroughly it does contain uh, alpha hydroxy acids which are AHAs so that can increase your sensitive sensitivity to the Sun I also use a sublimage exfoliation exfoliating low 
lo uh, lotion which also has AHAs in it but I find that the effect that you get when it does have AHAs does give you a beautiful blurred radiant look but definitely not something you want to use all the time that's why I would say this is a once a week thing and then if you're going to use like if you have the sublimage lotion which I love I only use that once a week so I would probably you know make sure I've got like about a four day gap in between using these kind of products and also as well you never want to use retinol when you use an AHA product like it's just going to be way too much for your skin to handle it's not going to be good and your skin's going to be hyper super duper sensitive to sun so never use a retinol with an AHA product however I actually don't use retinols anymore I just feel like retinols just give me too much of a risk when it comes to like creating sensitive skin uh, I I just don't and I didn't really feel that I had a lot of benefit from it like I didn't wake up with super duper radiant skin I know some people say that they wake up after using a retinol with like their pimples and stuff gone but maybe because I don't have pimples I don't see that I actually found that I get far more benefits with using like the Chanel sublimage products which apparently have a very gentle kind of retinol in it like it's not a retinol but it's something that's an alternative to retinol that's more gentle on the skin less harsh I found that when I use those products that's actually when I would get like an obvious radiant look the next day or obvious improved skin um, without like the harshness like without the feeling of saying like your skin become too dry or too sensitive that kind of thing also with these charms I thought I would let you know I've actually done like some repurposing of these and made them into like necklaces earrings I'm also going to do some brooches as well and I'll probably have them up on my Instagram or my closet page kind of tab okay this is the sublimage la creme now I actually bought this for my mom because I know that she won't go ahead and buy some something like this for herself so I thought I would treat her and get her this um, so this is the refill so you technically you're supposed to put it like in the glass the sublimage glass container so you're supposed to buy that first and then put it into there but you can actually just use it like this because this lid is actually still a screw lid it's got the Chanel logo here as well so technically you don't actually have to buy the more expensive sublimage la creme like in the glass jar thing whatever it is a glass or a plastic you don't have to buy like that you could just buy the refill which is way cheaper like you're saving like about a hundred bucks all right and then this is just a gel coat so it's just a gel top coat they've actually reformulated all their sort of polishes but i think their gel coat might stay the same formula but at least it'll be with a bigger brush now so it'd be quicker and easier to use another sublimage this is the sublimage eye cream so again I actually got this in the refill I actually have the sublimage eye serum which I use a few times a week and I've already used it with this device again super impressed with it and it just you know enhances the skincare results that you get from your products anyway but I decided I would go ahead and get the eye cream now because I do have I don't really tend to use like eye cream much I have the Lemur one that I'm slowly finishing but I don't use it every day because of the irritation I get when I rub my eyes but I do have a toucher eye cream which is great gives me no irritation and I do have the Chanel Hydra Beauty eye cream which gives you like an illuminating kind of effect but I kind of prefer that a little bit more for the daytime um, but I decided I would get their sublimage eye cream just because I'm so impressed with the serum oh this is not got a seal I think has it oh no it does okay so this is this has actually got a seal on it too, kind of like the refill for the face cream. It's got the little plastic seal on top and then it's got a little lid. So this is not as great as the cream, I would say, uh, because the lid on this is just like a push kind of lid. I wouldn't really travel with that anyway, to be honest. I have like plenty of the little mini samples that I would just use for travel anyway. This came with my package as a little freebie. Um, and this is from the Chanel Chance launch. They did like three Chanel Chance hand creams. I don't know I didn't get it I'm thinking about it but I'm not sure if I really need it because I prefer the Le Lift hand cream because it's got anti-aging benefits and because they go crazy with buying their products every launch they gave me this one as well so that's really cute a pink round kind of clutch and a little zipper and oh it's actually got like a silver lining that's cool it's like a freezer bag almost so I do have two Chanel handbags in here um, these are actually got from Europe because I think when you see them you can understand why I don't think that these were easy to get in Australia and at the time actually when they launched I didn't really have like a Chanel sales associate anymore like I did but I didn't I just kind of felt like a bit uh, unimpressed I guess um, with like being ghosted at times and I'm not for that like I don't give a crap if you don't have time to respond to me or like help me out with product then so be it you're busy and I get it but I also don't have time then to to be like hey can you tell me about this I haven't heard from you like I don't have time to chase my freaking tail for a sales associate even though I know that they're busy and I empathize because I had a friend that used to work at Chanel I empathize but 
I don't have time for it either. So it goes both ways, mate. That's how I am. But yeah, I got these from Europe because it was much easier to get over there. And I don't even think these colors, I didn't even see them ever come to Oz anyway. Or if they did, they probably only went to Sydney. So I was probably always guaranteed to miss out on them in Australia anyway, because I don't tend to shop a lot from like Chanel fashion anyways. I tend to get a lot of my stuff like pre-loved or private sales. I don't tend to buy often at the full retail price. Like I just don't tend to. So I guess, you know, they kind of have their system, the way it works, a little bit like similar to Hermes. If you don't spend and shop, you're probably not going to be as looked after. Um, but I do find that, yeah, if you just want like shoes and stuff from Chanel and like accessories and they're pretty good like that, it's just the handbags that it's a bit more like they want you to spend on other stuff. Far off retail. I paid not far off the retail price anyway, so I'm not really uh, bothered by it. I also got the charm too. Those charms, like the heart charm and the camellia charm, I also did some repurposing of those. So they're also on my closet page if you're interested. I know that it's not for everyone and people find it tacky, but I think that if you can repurpose something and make it have new life, then why not? Like, isn't that good? I think there's some sense of irony when I feel like people find that tacky that they're also probably virtue signal in other ways as well. I do want to do this quickly because my son... I can hear him for some reason he's carrying on about something i don't know what's going on out there i know my know that his dad's got a handle on it but still there's something going on out there it's a bit of crazy happening and i keep having to stop and start so all right both bags are going to be in there very anticlimactic unboxing just telling you but it is what it is because i can't simultaneously pull them out at the same time without putting down the box i'm just gonna put down the box i got the new popular to some extent pretty popular yeah Chanel Kelly bags. I just love, love, love the Chanel Kelly. I actually have been wanting to get one pre-loved vintage for such a long time, but I, I found that what was always a bit of a deal break with the Chanel Kelly is that there was no strap. So I've always found that to be a deterrent because I do like to have a strap on majority of my bags. The only exception I ever ever made is really like for the Birkin, I would say. Like even the Pickerton bag, I put straps on it. Like that's how much I like to have a strap on my bags. So when they came out with the Chanel Kelly with the strap, which I'll pull out for you so you can see what I'm talking about. I was like, okay, yeah, I need to have it. Yeah, there it is. That's it. Take my money. Take my money. I need it. So, but I didn't actually get the chance to ever try these on at store because like I said, I got it from Europe. However, what I did notice um, is that the straps are actually pretty long on the Chanel Kelly. It does come in another size as well, like the micro, the micro Kelly, little tiny micro Kelly, which fits absolutely nothing except like AirPods and a lipstick. It is still small, like the inside is, a, a, it's a pretty small capacity. You got the pocket there and then you just got the inner capacity and that's it. Like that's all there is. Oh, and then you got a zip pocket at the back. But like you look at it, there's not a heck of a lot of capacity to it. You can fit in a phone. So this is just an iPhone. Um, this is just like an iPhone Pro, the iPhone Pro 15. So it's not a Max. I don't know how this bag would go with a Max, but I do have a pop socket on there and it still fits it in with the pop socket. The strap is very long. I do find it a little bit long for my height. I'm only 156 centimeters. I still think I can also still pull it off. It's okay, but it's just a bit long than what I would like. If you're a tall person, this strap length is going to be absolutely perfect for you. But what I've actually done to demonstrate on the pink one is how you can shorten it, but it's not the greatest because you're still going to kind of see it or it's going to pop out. So what I've done is use one of these clips, which I've already put on the bag, so I will show you. Uh, so this clip, which goes like that, to kind of um, hook the chain together, like kind of like clip it together. You can use this clip as well on like your wok, classic flaps, that kind of thing. I'll leave it linked down below. Chanel used to give it out, but I don't know if they do anymore. Uh, maybe only with classic flaps I might. Uh, so yeah, if, but you can buy it like non-Chanel branded somewhere else. Even that clip, even the Chanel one isn't branded though. It's just like a generic made clip that's probably made in China, I'm sure, anyway. Uh, so what I've done is put the clip on this, use the clip to then hook another part of the chain. So it kind of creates like this loop sort of thing. So then when you have the bag closed up, it kind of keeps the loop inside the bag. So I've actually already used this bag with the clip and I did find that it did stay in the bag for the most time, but then at one point it kind of popped out and then it was kind of hanging out like that. It was a bit weird, but it is an, just a kind of quick fix option. There is no other way unless you completely cut the chain strap and had it modified from, from like a bag spa or something, which I definitely would not recommend to do. But for the most part, it tends to just stay and then you can kind of just see it like that. For the most part, it tends to stay in the bag that 
little loop thing. It might pop out whenever you're kind of opening and closing the bag if you're not mindful of making sure it's back in there. But that is the way that I shorten the strap so that it wasn't too long on me. It's more of an ideal length. I would say actually my favorite out of the both of them is definitely the blue. Like I feel like the blue is so unique. It's like a beautiful denim jeans kind of petrol blue that just goes with absolutely everything. But it's a better alternative in my opinion to a black because I'm not like a big black bag kind of person. I usually am not as impressed by a black handbag as what I am impressed when they do a color. Like I'm just more for like a neutral color or a color or some kind of tinge. Even if it's just a very dark color that almost looks black. Just something that's just not black. I feel like the Chanel Kelly definitely a very reasonable amount of colors considering Chanel usually doesn't do as many colors. Um, I think that they've been pretty generous with this bag to actually do those many colors that they that they have done. The white one would be very cute as well. I don't know if I need a third one even though it's such a cute bag and I do like it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the Chanel Kelly. Do you like the bag? Do you think it's cute? Do you prefer the vintage one or do you prefer this one with now having the shoulder strap? And if you tried it on, did you find it too long on you as well as what I did? Um, is that a deal breaker for you when the strap is way too long? Like, does that mean that you won't buy the bag? So yeah, that is it for this video. Please share your comments down below in the description bar. Also, don't forget I'll have a link down below the Amaro facial device as well and the coupon code. So definitely consider it if you want to up your skincare game. Everything else will be linked down below as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.